Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the blind playthrough on Supreme Jerk difficulty where we have entered episode 17 with only two death. So it's uh, not looking too shabby. We are going to follow the Cinema Verité quest. Uh, the Chic uh, Flicks theater has only been in the bazaar for a couple of years. But they want uh, us to find old film mat uh, material in the Monster Army bunker that was abandoned years ago. You can find old film reels uh, the gang used to watch there. If you can find them, she uses uh, them as a basis for the next show. Cool. Good. So where is the bunker? There we go. It's down there. And that easy Saiken. Let's go. So whilst we're driving... I am wondering if there are other secrets here on the map that I am not aware about. An old grain silo next to a burnt down farmhouse smells like mold. Use the shelter to hide uh, the Kodiak, then make some repairs. Pull the truck around back to the structure, it's not visible from the road to get to work. I have it for some uh, ranching. Okay, well. So those little uh, side encounters that you can get sometimes help, sometimes they do absolutely nothing. For instance, this here is the Burley Marshall shop. Good. Their poaching uh, might have been helpful for us. So let's get a couple of old pans sold. Very good. Then, additionally, let's get that revolver here sold. Don't need it anymore. And I think we're Gucci. Do they have anything that is worthwhile um, spending our hard-earned cash? Superior weapon mod. A couple of other mods. And I think the answer is no, Saiken. Not really. I like this one here. Ablative spray. Resistance to everything. Yeah, but I wouldn't spend our hard-earned cash for any of that at the moment. We're going to leave. And that was our one time where we could have gotten fenced wares. Good, moving deeper, and we're going to go... There's a clown museum as well. Mm, let's do the clown museum first. We have been around that a few times, but never entered. So let's just check out what the clown museum is. Could it be the hideout of the El Padiallos gang? Clowns? Or whatever they were called? If I was to take a wild guess, that is exactly what I think. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, mamones. The fuck you doing here? We came to see the clown museum. It's sacred ground, a shrine to the great joke, and you're gonna get it! Why didn't we just attack? <sighs> See, the one other thing that I learned in this game is just 
attack. Don't don't wait. Don't think about if uh, these are clowns, then treat them as if they would be clowns. Good. We're going to dispense some justice. I can tell you that. Rally. Matter of fact, it's going to be so much justice that you would think... Saiken, have you lost your mind? That's too much justice. Yeah, path is blocked, unfortunate. We're going to take a couple of shots next turn. Kodiak did very well so far. Hawkbite moves in. Beautiful hit. Enemy is poisoned. This here, luckily, hasn't been powered up. One. Shoots, hits, but doesn't hit very well. 700 hit points. That's a lot. Ramos choose through those 700 hit points like it's absolutely nothing. I'm very happy with the heavy uh, with the heavy damage. Good, Murphy got himself in a nice position there. It's over. Marks this guy. Before moving over here. Moving out of line of sight. Only four. Only four AP used for that. Pinch the shot in his head. I like that. Unfortunately, we missed. This guy might, we might need to just drive over him. This guy, we need to drive. Oh, Senora is what her name is. All right, can't drive over her. But most certainly can completely and utterly wreck her.
We'll see here. I wanted to attack with Hogbite, my bad. Good. Level 9 uh, submachine gun. Not what we need. Mission critical item. Ballerina Giro. Okay. There's a couple of things here. Still got that pistol, which means... With that, we can also repair the Kodiak for free. Right? Well, maybe not. Okay. At least we tried. Uh, just realizing, by the way, that he still has his stupid level 5 assault rifle, and I've uh, sold a couple of level 7 assault rifles. It's not the end of the world, really, but it's not great either. So next time we're finding an assault rifle, let's just remember that we still need one. Okay, repair ballerina. Repair that ballerina. Good, some of them apparently need repairing and as you can guess there are a lot of pigs and clown stuff around plus another ballerina gyro Okay, wait, wait, wait. There is a guy in there. I'm going to talk to him in a second. And we need lockpick 8. This one requires power. Which means we need to... get those ballerinas up and running, right? Power on. Okay. Step away. Hmm.
I think they all need to be dancing. So one, two, three, four. Five and six. Hmm. We've solved that issue. Hmm. We've solved that issue, but I'm not a hundred percent sure if we really fully did. All of them are dancing now, but there is still not full power. Ah, I see how it is. Okay, cool. So. That opens this door got an EMP grenade oh got a nice little uh, level 15 fire thrower time we got that um, out of the way when we were using a lens of sorts what do you want? open up we want to see uh, the museum Help us out here. We might uh, come to some kind of arrangement. There's the ballerinas. They've been broke for a while now, and nobody knows how to fix them. If you got them going again... All right. We fix in. them. Let me see. Let me see. Good. Myron seems to be super happy. I think you're past that point, dude. Appreciate that you want to be a ballerina, but that's likely not going to work well for you. Requires power. So, if we could get to here. Lock picking uh, eight. And we got seven. That is unfortunate. All right, need to take a short break. So, one thing that I learned is these lock picks are always super difficult. So we needed, uh, we actually need a character that uh, focuses very much on lock picking. Uh, enemies in here. I don't like the sound of that. Let's eat a Snickers just to heal up.
Oh, nice. And we got finally a level up. More leadership. If you move more than five space, your next, uh, uh, your next assault rifle or submachine attack costs nothing. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. And leadership doesn't have a level 10 perk, unfortunately. Okay, cool. Well, that's good enough. I suppose Murphy here. Equips this and uh, uses that more AP uh, that might be helpful let's give that to you okay cool so we're sufficiently buffed Great joke. Sí, cabrones. El payaso rojo taught it to his disciples in this very place. It goes like this. The world is dead. Mock the weak and the stupid. Fuck up their shit for laughs. Or get fucked up yourself. <laughs> That's a stupid uh, joke. El payaso rojo, never heard of him. Who came to Arriba. The red clown was waiting. He went among the weak and the suffering and offered them the wisdom of the apocalypse. Those with the courage to listen were taught the great joke and became his payasos. If he was so damn wise, was his ground stained with his blood? Because the great joke demanded it. Mock the weak, lest ye be mocked in turn. Either you laugh, payaso, kill the unbeliever. Okay, talking about the most stupid joke that anyone has ever heard. Okay, we're going to start with Rally. Three sentries with three different... Generators. Question is... We want Marshal Kwon to run in and disable one of them. He will likely get shut down. On the other hand, it saves us killing one of those turrets, and they are 800. I should have. There's another hidden door. See, that's what we would have gotten. We would have gotten out here, potentially moved through here, gotten through that nice little hidden door. One at least gets some sort of support there. All right, first round and let's put Ramos into good position. This he looks decent from my angle. All of them are suppressed, that's good. Nice little hits. Very good. Murphy takes cover as well. 
And wait, we could kill this guy, right? 40% though. I uh, don't like the odds of it. Central could theoretically from here hit this guy in the head, take him down. That is a really good uh, start. Now back to Lucia. Moves to here. Still got six AP left over. Not the perfect place, but good enough. Great hit into a free shot. Get these arms and cripple him. And yeah, we got shrink grenades, but unfortunately not enough AP. Ramos needs this AP next turn. Good, Murphy does have enough for two shots with a shotgun. Thankfully we have those single shots here. Oh no, it destroys uh, the crate. Uh, the, yeah, the cover there. Not gonna do that. Gonna take the boss clown instead. Hogbite moves up. One hit. And a nice little double strike. Teaches them a valuable lesson. As in not to F around with us. Okay, good first turn. Let's see what they are doing. Oh, I can't. Whoa! Heaviest armored guy, Hogbite, got downed in just one round. On this difficulty, I'm not even sure if you uh, place a little bit uh, like uh, like Gears Tactics, right? Where where it just doesn't matter how many hit points you have, the answer is always too little. Good Quan does what Quan has to do, which is kill the sentries. We're going to be good with that. Revive and heal heal your body. Good before we're going for that that center car it's over let's you. mark it and if we take the turret reduces targets damage by 25% that that is important comet speed is zero anyways uh, yeah we want to reduce the armor <laughs> Oh, yeah, that was a great crit. Okay, cool. Um, let's get it down.
Cool, that was good. Super good sniping. Hogbite heals himself. We're moving in. Got that extra free shot. That works, which means we're continuing. Flame tank is cool, but we'll take the hat this time. Centro sprints forward. Stormer. Okay. That's what I like to see. Zero AP. And Centro gets a couple of kills. Takes everything else uh, to the next round, and we're good. Quan nicely snuck around that little uh, sneaky, sneaky uh, guy. I would call uh, Quam the sneaky link because he has a bit of a sexual tendency and uh, he's uh, definitely sneaking around or quick. And that's three for three. Good job, Quan. Goes back into full cover. And even kills one. Nice. Hot quiet. One. Two. Three. And thundering strike. Holy moly. But he's not done. Oh well, he's done. I was just overly excited. He unfortunately is done. Good that hey that worked out well. If you have lost some health, eat a Snickers. All right. Part of how well that worked was also because Quan just had an enormous amount of action points due to his coordination, which I like. Gets up the nerd stuff and the mechanics, which is good. I like that Stormer should get that for him as well. Mechanics. Repairing and uh, fixing vehicles. Ground 7 armor for 3 turns. Eh. So far, robots haven't really been doing much for us. I am yet to see kind of a permanent robot other than the robot chicken that runs around with us, right? But bonus damage to robots and vehicles, on the other hand, is good. Using healing items also boosts targets max con. Um, that is great. I think we're going to use it. The other option would be Goofer Hunter, which I think is also not bad. But oh, we already <laughs> we already have all the healing. Yeah, well. extra speed that could solve a problem Hoover Hunter on the other hand could solve one as well and extra hit points could solve yet another problem for us 
I think Juan needs some more hit points. We're at 111. Let's try that. I'm doing this in good faith game. Don't F me over afterwards. Uh, that extra hit point isn't bad. A bit more strength wouldn't be bad either, I think. Just more, uh, just more hit points overall. Okay, cool. Alright, junk, junk. Big fat weapon magazine. Okay, vehicle upgrade weapon. The Piazzo turret. I like that. And of course, we are yet again one short of um, opening a safe. I hate it when we don't have enough uh, to crack locks. How long until until you level up? Well, even if you were to level up, I think yeah, we need two levels to get to level eight. And this here even requires level 9 mechanic. Holy smokes. <laughs> Marin th uh, seems to be the only one who is like not aggressive. He's potentially mentally so far gone that it doesn't even matter good clown museum might come back uh, to get the rest out of uh, their safes for now we're continuing to travel to colorado but that is also a great opportunity for us to end uh, today's episode thanks a lot for watching and if you are uh, in with a great joke, then uh, please click the like button as it is going to tickle it and will make it laugh. Thank you and have a good one. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.